Hey guys and welcome to Farmer Simulator 2017 on Oakfield Farm. So, in the stream we finished off this massive field. I think it was Saturday's live stream. We just literally stayed on this one field and got her all done. So, we'll retrieve our combine from the other side. I did fast forward time so it is the next day in game so we'll have a bit more to do than just compost. Obviously we'll get something up here to plough, seed, or whatever. Probably use the cordy plough. Uh, we had a good yield of spout so what I'll do here is just finish off this little edge. Left by a course play. I'm not going to go around the whole field doing it. You can see the spots that it's missed. I'm just honestly not too worried about it. We've got a good amount of crop out of this field. And we can move on to other fields, so as you see, 32 is good to go. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> that's one way to stop your harvest. So yeah, that's a good go. I'm not too sure what crop we've got in here, I forget. Uh, rye. There we go. But that field doesn't take nowhere near as long. But I think... I don't know if I will actually harvest that in this episode. We will... We may towards the end. But uh kind of going to try and concentrate on doing the animals. Now, I've kind of thought about the way I'm going to do these videos as far as what do you expect to come up. I don't want to drop Lone Oak. It's a beautiful map. I love the fact it's a decent American map. And it's by someone that we all know and, to be quite honest, love his maps. And that's obviously Bullet Bill, even though he's only done three, technically. Uh, so, as far as that goes, wow to mist a little around here. As far as that goes, I think we are going to do that tomorrow. I heard from Simulation for the Nation, his live stream on it didn't do the greatest the other day when he streamed it, so I'm kind of worried that it is whining, or waning out sort of thing. Basically, people are losing interest in it already. We should be disappointed. That being said, I think I've got a bit more of a North American audience in him, so we will see. Definitely the views will figure that one out for itself. And I'm still surprised Oakfield's doing as well. Uh, we're at, jeez, what's this, six, uh, 73 episodes now on Oakfield? And I'm going for 100. I'm going to try and get 100 episodes out of it. We've, including all the live streams, we're probably well above that. It's just like a personal goal of mine. It's a map that was like Thornton for me. I did Thornton ever that damn near went to the grave with me as far as FS15 went and I think Oakfield's going to be the same for me it is one of those maps but there again everyone has those type of maps because of some maps are based where you live and they're always going to be your favourites everyone knows for me this is where I live sort of thing it's not very far at all Alright, so, jump into the John Deere. Still not fixed the sticker on the side. It'll take me forever to get around and do that. What was I up to last night? Uh, last night... Wasn't particularly busy as far as me doing random crap. Uh, spent a little bit of time in uh, Far Cry 5. Damn good game. I, I, it's just hit me the other day when I've been, I've been in the mood to get a new game. And it's a what was that for? Son of a gun. That's a dangerous spot when I get in that mood. Uh, what we'll do is we'll just drive us down to the yard then. But I didn't. I ha haven't got a new game. I've been playing a lot of Flight Sim recently. And I thought, hang on, I've got Far Cry. I have barely played that, so let's play that for a while. So I played it for a little bit. I'm hoping tonight I'll be able to get some more time in it. And do some more of the missions. But it is a damn good game. Wait, that was uh, a bit drastic turns there. So what I'll do is this will just go down to the bottom. This is the least, so actually fast forwarding made us lease it for another day. Not that we needed it, but it's only cheap. We'll make all this money back with 
all of the grain. Uh, we'll probably end up filling up the diesel tank again for the compost maker. Now the compost maker, people have been asking what are you doing with all that compost? Fertilizer. That's what I plan on using it. Uh, unfortunately the way the game seems to be set up default, you just do not get a whole lot of manure. You really don't. And it's disappointing, so really you've got to substitute it with either buying it in, which you can do. Uh, there are silos out there where you can buy manure and basically if you wanted to run a series or something, so any of you guys that do YouTube, I haven't done it for a while but I have, I did do it actually in the last game series for Vogue I put the silo down, and it may have even been Thornton actually, now I say this, and I literally just filled the silo which would normally be used for the animals that you have to muck out with the manure. So the combine and header trailer I'm just going to dip down into the right over here as we're going to be going up that laneway at some point in time. Slurry seems like you get so much of it anyway so that's all good and plus the slurry the way it works in the game currently like the manure used to you can edit that with XMLs. It's, it's a shame you can't do that with manure. Just because it's so slow again, it it really is. And manure, mug spread and manure spread, I enjoy. It is a bit of fun having to plan that all out, which we will when we do the field. I was thinking about doing that field, but that field's just way too big to do that with. Uh, this would be a slurry field, which we still may do. I may not actually put a cedar on that yet. Hmm. We have a saddle track. There's an idea for us. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe I'll actually do that. But we will definitely, definitely plough this field today. And then we'll be able to run through it with the cultivator. While injecting the slurry down. Which the thing we'll use will be the culty plough. Probably on the big John Deere. One of my favourite tractors that come out as a mod. And the cows need feeding, so we'll be... Oh, crap, did that. Yep. <laughs> I had a feeling I was just about to do that. Okay, let's go rescue the header. Should be able to just knock it over, hopefully. Actually, you know what? Let's just reset it. I've not got anything there and there, and we can just reset it and dump it for what it's worth down in 33. Or just ah, I can't, crap! I can't drive through the hedge, can I? <laughs> I goofed. I goofed big time. Reset. Yes. And combine. Reset. Yes. I can't have an episode where I don't goof up like this. You, you gotta. Get to notice that one. It would have been cool if the tool that came out for the front loaders, and I think 50 was still around, where you could use them to maneuver stuff around. I believe that thing actually exists too, where it's a tool and it's got various different connections on it. So header header stuff, uh, three points. Stuff like that, so you can use the telehandler literally as a tug around the yard to manoeuvre stuff. In most series I do, you always hear that I've got a smaller tractor and that's what its job is. Right, I'm just going to hardcore cheat on this one. Uh, apologies, but it's where the cookie crumbles. I think we've got enough room to get over all of this. Yeah, we do. Perfect. Okay, and the only other vehicle that's in that field, or partly in that field, is this. And we'll be going to sell this, and the best price for the spout is up at Willowbrook Farm, which is up by the BGA and all of that way, BGA and all of that good stuff. And then we'll head to the main yard and deal with the cows 
And get the tractor back up here. Uh, the RX. Not the RX, the 8. But I would not necessarily do that right away. But we'll spend a bit of time in the yard. Figuring out the animals and all that good stuff. And if I stumble across a beautiful scenic spot for a thumbnail, we will be taking that as well. And here would be a perfect spot if I edited the videos to cut. And oh look, we're at the yard. <laughs> There's times that I wish I spent the time doing that, I'm not going to lie. Back in the days of Marilla's action where I could literally just pause. I was doing that. Because I wasn't having to spend time in the editing suite. Oh, there's a sign there. Straw Mountain. It w will not take us long to get through that straw. It really won't. And this is heavy. God dang. I think either the composter is empty or it's out of fuel. One of the two. It costs us like 25 grand each time to fill up that thing. Which I, I love the fact it does take fuel. I wish there was more stuff in the game that... And I mean, as mods, the factory stuff that needed some sort of fuel or whatnot. That admittedly would probably be hooked up to uh, power though. Not necessarily have its own generator. Who knows? That obviously... I, that's the thing. Compost is something that happens over time. I don't think you have a machine to make it go faster, do you? Not that I know of. I should forgot we had the mantra down here. That'll be heading up to the other field. Not unless we use this. We've got the... We've got it rented. The auger wagon rented some more as well. Use it. And what we'll do is we'll just tip the orca wagon straight into this truck and throw it down here as well. Or actually that man, maybe. It depends as much as in the tractor. I forget. But we'll leave this down here and we'll head over to the main yard and deal with the cows. 44,164. And that is total harvest income. Well, almost total. So, it's not the greatest, but it's not exactly bad. Okay, over to the main yard. So, we need a tractor for the mixer. Hmm, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. That one can do it, this one can't. That one can do it, this one it is. Br roll out my favourite tractor and farming simulator 17. The old T-dubs. As much as you hear us joke to Matt about the T-dubs being crap and everything, they are. They are the, one of the best tractors. And why is the hour meter at 0 0.5? Huh? Weird. I guess I've barely used this thing, this thing since the uh, game save update. Alrighty, we need to go up here. For a wee bit of silage. Let's fire up the machine now. And that's fired up. The old telehandler. I think it, I can get away with like two scoops of uh, silage. I can't remember. It feels like it's been a hell of a long time since I've actually done this. Probably because it has been, to be honest. I've been doing quite a bit of animal stuff on the American map where it's completely larger scale. As I'm finishing my coffee there. Yeah, easy. It's 
So what I'll do is I'll just dump two scoops in. I'm pretty sure it's okay with two scoops and then two bales. Hopefully it is anyway. We'll find out. If it's a incomplete mixer ratio. Let's go a bit of first person. And chances are we need to muck out the damn cows too. Yay! And put this over on the trailer here. Does anyone else use these trailers to keep your front loader implements or telehandler implements? It just seems a good sort of resource to use. I remember back in the day where people never put sort of collisions on stuff like this because no one used them. Same with the tires. I'll put stuff on the tires just to keep it off the ground. Alrighty, so we will need two bales, I think. Now the bales to our left, they are the one made from the straw add-on pack, so that's why they're a different colour if anyone is wondering. Two two uh the piles are gonna be off. Oh well. Maybe one of these bales can go to the sheep then. It'd be interesting to see in FS nineteen if the sheep are any different actually. I think I've said that before. But I'll say it again. Why not? Just the face of the sheep are a little weird the way they work. Get off. <laughs> Hit him to the barrier there. With the fact that you don't need to feed... Well, you, you need to feed them grass when they're in a grass paddock. I really do think this should be... That they should be definitely different. Bum, bum, bum. No, 93. I think that's a good mix. I do believe that is a good mix. So we we'll pull over here out of the way. Shut it out. And have a look see. Oh yeah, perfect. Oh, it's still mixing. Uh yeah, we'll just go through our normal way. Put it into the outside trough too. Not that it really matters, I think both troughs are connected, so I have I, I really doubt it does actually anything. And for a screenshot, I think oh, I wouldn't mind getting a shot of us just pulling in here. So you can see the texture. That's one thing I like, Brian. The fact that Brian did is the texture on the mixer wagon to make it look old like this and use the dirty because you've never seen a clean mixer wagon other than on the damn dealership. And wait for it, wait for it. Picture taken! Okay, that was easy. And yes, we need to clean this out big time. Holy crap. Okay, why am I not... 
Wrong beat button. Good grief. What am I? New? That's a lot of newer, actually. outside here. As I said, I'm pretty sure they're all connected up so it doesn't really matter. Seems like it's a different colour out here too actually. Oh really? It's around the opposite side. Wow. And I think what we'll do to clean them out quickly. We'll probably bring down our wheel loader. Throw that on the back end of one of the tractors that can actually do a decent speed. And go from there. It's not going to look legit, but this will do. It's going to say, please say, take it all. Thank you. And that is us. Completely. Rip through the barn. Yeah, definitely need to clean it. Does make me sad seeing all of that. <laughs> but that's the thing, like, uh, well, great scheme things, I've not had this game save going for that long, but that's all the manure we've had. Uh, with 50 odd cows. It's not a great deal. It really isn't. And again, slurry. The slurry is legit, I've not put any in. Last time around, like I did on Lone Oak, I dumped in like 500,000 litres. Just so we can do a bit of slurrying, which I will probably end up doing again. I'll just need to remember to do it. Okay, so that is that sorted. I uh, hope we look at time pretty good. So what we'll do then is actually jump into this. Swap that over for the buck rake. We'll see what the matter with this is. Whether no, it's got fuel. It's got a little bit of fuel, so it's just empty with straw. I'm not even going to worry about this. So don't think for a second that I am going to be operating this today. I've done a lot of that. I think during the live streams, I'll probably do operations on that. Actually, maybe it'd be best just to road cart this down. Instead of a uh, trailer in it. One, I don't know if it would fit on the trailer. And two, this thing does 26 miles an hour. The time we've got the tractor up here. Well, the tractor hooked up. Up here. This loaded. We could have driven this back. So let's be, let's be sensible here. That struggled going up the hill? Well. Wow. Yeah, leave four wheel drive. I doubt these things are selectable four wheel drive. Feels weird being in the cab of this thing. It's such an old machine. It'll be interesting to see in FS19, and I say this a lot because it's just I'm interested to see. Now the game has advanced quite significantly. This is probably the biggest leap forward I think Giants have ever done. It'll be interesting to see if the machines from the old versions of the game are been remodeled or redone. Now, from what I understand, I've heard that they have taken out all of the old models from FS13 and stuff like that, believe it or not, we are still using old models from then. Like, this has probably been redone to look good for this game, but you can definitely see, like, the cab up there, rough edges around all of the textures and switches and stuff like that isn't really FS17 spec. Now, do they mean, for example, I'll use the quad track as a prime example. Everybody loves a quad track. It's something that I barely use myself, and now I'm saying this, I think I should actually buy the for this map, maybe. <laughs> I replaced it with something, but nobody uses it for for a lot nowadays, it seems. But it's one of the old relics. We got that back in FS13 uh, with the uh, Platinum, I think it was called. Something along those lines, uh, when it was going to Westbridge Hills. And that model's been with us to, uh, technically, if you're including that, but technically two games. So do they mean we're not getting that anymore? Or do they mean... 
they've basically rebuilt it from scratch. Same for the Leaper, for example. We don't have the Leaper anymore. Have they rebuilt it? Now, I say the Leaper as I'm talking about it. We may not have the Leaper anymore. Uh, I don't know if Class bought the rights to put their name on this version, basically, of the Leaper, or whether Leaper still technically are producing their own ones, but Class have got their own rebranded, if you guys get what I mean. So that would be another factor. We know we're not getting Class on day one release. Um, it's something that could be a DLC later down the line, but nobody knows. And don't get me wrong, I think it would be amazing if we did get class in the game. It's one that I was actually hoping for. I think they have a hell of a lot to bring to the table as far as machinery. And I think Giants... And giants, not... Jeez. I think John Deere do as well. And I know a lot of people are disappointed about John Deere because, well, maybe they're not a fan of them or... Oh, everybody's going to be using John Deere. I've already talked about that topic in the past, but you got to remember, John Deere as a company... No matter whether you like them or hate them, they are a huge, huge company and bring a lot of equipment to the game. They can bring a hell of a lot of equipment to the game. So, it could be good. It could be good. They could bring so much variety. Now, will they? Who knows? It depends on the licensing. Licensing is out of everybody's hands other than two parties involved. Now, this is, I'm going to straight up say, very, very extreme and unrealistic to do this. I just want to do this in a quick and easy manner, instead of having to run back and forth. Uh, we should be able to just, honestly, <laughs> do this in one big pass. That's what I'm hoping to do. But, actually, put it in the comments section, now I think about it. Really? You're going to stop there and eat mud? You weird animal. What machinery? Do you think, realistically, not that you, you're you hoping for and dreaming of old machinery was, what machinery do you realistically see John Deere bring into the game? Now, I'll tell you mine. I think, realistically, we're probably going to see a variety of tractors. I hope, granted, we see some of the older ones, but I'm not going to list them. I think we're going to see... I, I know we're going to see the 6R. I think that's been confirmed, which... Hurrah! At last we get a damn good 6R. I mean, I don't particularly like the tractor, but as far as UK farming, that thing's used very, very much. And you just don't see any good models of them out there. I don't care what people say about, oh, this is good, this is good. There's none. There really isn't. There may be, but it's, it's a private mod. Uh, we know of the 8R, so if we've got the 8R, I'm produ producing that. Presuming we have the 7 and if we've got the 7 and the 8 and the 6, then let's say we've probably got the RX, which... That's one of my favourite tractors they do right now. I think it looks beautiful. It's also a big articulated tractor, granted, but it's... To me, looks-wise, it's probably one of the nicest. Nicer ones. And then, again, if they've got that, then they've got, probably got the wheeled versions of those tractors. Combines, I think we may see some combines. I'm not 100%. I'd be surprised if we don't. They do do forage harvesters too, so we could see some forage harvesters. Now, crone. We've seen less and less crone equipment in the game. I'm disappointed about that. I love crone, as far as that type of stuff. So if we've got John Deere, crone, uh, John Deere forage harvesters, does that mean the end of crone? I guess we'll have to wait and see. It'll be a disappointment for sure. So I wouldn't be too surprised if we see that as far as the vehicle stuff now implements and all that I'm not up on what John Deere do I'll be completely honest I really have not much idea I don't know if they do much as far as the European side of stuff but the American side of stuff they do have quite a selection of implements and stuff uh, no doubt we'll see front loaders and stuff like that for them too okay going on to forestry equipment John Deere have a huge huge forestry selection so I wouldn't be too surprised. I would love to see for John Deere forestry equipment in the game. That's something that I think we need is North American forestry equipment. Now, we've got a North American brand that does forestry equipment. I don't know if New Holland does or K uh, Case does and stuff like that. So that would be neat as well. That would bring a different aspect into the forestry, and I know a lot of the forestry guys will probably enjoy that, having that type of equipment in there. 
And if I was big into the forestry, I know I would for sure. But alas, I get bored very, very quickly, and I'll have my phone go off and just making sure it's nothing important that I need to deal with right away. And it is not. So as I said at the beginning of that, let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. It'll be interesting to see. Now, I don't want to hear, oh, John Deere's crap, I don't want John Deere. Realistic thoughts here, guys. Constructive stuff. Not that you hate John Deere and you don't wish they, you wish they weren't in the game. That just... I don't get it. <laughs> just because you don't like a company, you don't wish they're in the game. I hate dudes for, for example. Do I wish they're not in the game? No. Do I think they're going to be in FS19? Yeah, I think we're going to lose dudes and... Uh, Lamborghini. Why do I think that? They're very old models. Those are from FS13. And... You just... Again, it's one that they don't have much in the game. Like, let's actually look right here of what dudes are in the game. So, still scrolling to see our first one. This one. This is one of the oldest ones, the 7 series. Then we've got the Lamborghini, which is basically the same as that. But that's in, what, your 200 horsepower range? You mi yeah, let's say your mid to 200 horsepower range. Nothing below that, which... Oh, no, we've got this one, the Agrostar. I would be disappointed to see that go, but again, that's an old model, too. And I think that's it. And then you've got the 9 Series, which I think is new. That thing doesn't look mean, too. So not a lot from dudes. I mean, if we go over here, this would be the better representation of it. When I find it... Yeah, here we go, dudes. Three machines. One of the classics, again, that I would be disappointed to see any classic machine go from the game. The 7 series and the 9 series. So a good mix, but... Yeah, I don't know. I've just seen less and less of these guys around as far as machinery in the game. So I, I don't know whether we'll see them returning. But I do want to make it clear, I would be disappointed to see any brand go from the game. I don't want brands to start disappearing, that's such a shame to see. Like, As I said earlier, we have seen less and less Krone equipment. Krone is huge in the market as far as grass and hay and all of that stuff goes. And heck, even straw apparently. And even Pottinger. Pottinger. I feel we used to have more equipment from them. And we see less and less equipment from them too. Alright, so that is the manure gonzo. And that's probably about time. Again, I know. Unrealistic. You would never do that in real life using a pure wheel loader. Maybe you would if you had the room. We had the room, but at the same time, I just wanted to get it over and done with. So I think for our final final drive tonight, we'll head up to the field with the Colty Plough and get that going in this beast, this beautiful beast. This is another tractor which I can see being in the game. I hope they've got the smaller twin track stuff in the game. I really do. But, I've said this once, I'll say it again, I am very disappointed not to see 3D animated tracks. And it just makes a difference to me. Like, it, it looks good. It does look good. I, I don't understand that one. I hope that's something that we will see one day. Especially as, in the great scheme of things, you are seeing tracked vehicles now I don't mean everything but a lot of tracked stuff coming to the farming industry for ground pressure control it used to seem like it was huge flotation tires that was the answer and now it seems throw tracks on it grain bins tracked options tractors tracked options tractors with part wheels part tracks and then you've got 
forage harvesters with tracks. Combines with tracks. You're seeing it a lot more than you ever used to. Instead of big flotation tires, tracks. So I think we're going to be seeing a lot more equipment with tracks. And granted, something I've always liked. Track machinery. Who doesn't? And that's not even going back to tanks. Whether it's a bulldozer, whether it's a digger, whether it's stuff like that. It's just tracks are pretty damn sick. The way they work, how they come around. Basically a rolling road vehicle. Oh no, a road laying vehicle, I believe they call it, or something like that. Because it l lays its own road to roll over. Don't ask me if the terminology is right. I think it is. I think it is. It's pretty cool how we've got the the UK version of this now, with the warning, the EU version with the warning sides and over with. I hate the look of it. I Europe. That's all I'll say. Them and their stupid damn laws. Well, laws. Now, granted, could you get away with running this in the UK without these markers on? Probably. I'm not gonna lie. I highly doubt too much movement of these types of machine are done at night. Because they are such a big machine. Alrighty, we have got this mostly here. I will continue this trip on a live stream another day. Which... I don't know. Tempted to do tonight. Live stream, or today a live stream on it. Which was yesterday for you guys. So I hope you have enjoyed a bit of variety. And let me know your guys' opinion on what I said in the comments. I'm really kind of spark, up, spark conversations going on in the comments section again. I miss those days. Till next time. Hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you guys later. See ya.